What do you think we should do today, Sal? Well, I really think it's a nice day out, so I'm thinking of going to Stanchu. When I was 16, I joined the Copper Mountain Juniors Key Patrol program. I patrolled until I graduated high school, and then I stayed here in Colorado for college and I went to University of Colorado in Boulder and so I continued to patrol while I was in college and I helped with some pretty severe and interesting events but I just really liked getting out and having fun and doing the sport that I loved while helping other people who had a bad accident themselves. Ski Patrol provided a really fantastic group of role models for Sally. They were people who had been ski patrollers for years, and she got to be under their wings. Lily, walkies! Come here, walkies! And they taught her a lot about how to provide excellent care for people when they needed it most. I have this poster by Helen Keller and it says, life is either a daring adventure or nothing. I was pretty active and outdoorsy before my accident, so I thought that it related to that. But now, after my accident, it really means a lot more. Every memory, every thought, every dream, your very essence exists because of your brain. One impact can change your life in an instant. No matter the terrain, no matter the conditions, one piece of gear should always be worn your helmet. My name is Jeremy Jones. Cody Townsend. My name is Elise Sockstead. I'm Connery Lundeen. And helmets are cool. Helmets are cool. And helmets are cool. Barb and I were skiing at Copper Mountain and uh, we were just about to head down to the car when our phone rang and we got the news. Seeing Sally hooked up to a million tubes and wires and all these lights flashing and beeping noises and we really didn't know if she was going to survive or not. In the accident, Sally tumbled down a very narrow chute and basically ping-ponged back and forth. She had two skull fractures, three broken spinous processes in her cervical spine. She had a burst fracture in her T10, and she had a broken ankle. The injury that actually caused the skull fracture was after her helmet was destroyed and not even on her head anymore. We were, you know, totally convinced that without that helmet, she wouldn't have survived. Sally had to learn how to swallow, how to walk, how to talk, everything. Sally worked so hard at her therapy. She, physical therapist would have her walking down the hall, pushing a shopping cart with weight in it so it wouldn't go out from under. And she would just be groaning the whole time, but she would just push through that and push through that, and she worked so hard. She's so determined to get as far as she can in her recovery, and it's just so heartwarming. Despite what happened to me in my ski accident, I still am dedicated and motivated to find ways to get better. My main goal is to find a job and get out of the house and live on my own. And with a lot of dedication and hard work, I know it will happen. My mindset for recovery was just that I had to do it. There was never a time when I was really down about what I had to do. 
it was just like how I had to live my life in the future so I made a lot of those changes and I still make changes every day. Sally was passionate about cooking before her accident and it's really come full circle. Cooking was one of the main ways I was able to recover and relearn a lot of things. I can't imagine how hard it is. She used to be right-handed now. She's left-handed. Whenever I try and measure anything with my left hand, it just doesn't work. It ends up all over the floor. Now she's creating these fantastic meals that we get to enjoy every night. She's just done an amazing job and she continues to. Retro Shredathon at Copper Mountain is just a fundraising event for the High Fives Foundation. It's a fun way to get people out to support each other and just have fun doing what they love. This whole community, especially after these injuries, that goes, what can we do? How can we, we all want to come together and do something good. High Fives is this like central place that like really makes that happen. <laughs> How are you? Good. How are you? Having Sally out here skiing in the Retro Shredathon means the world. We followed her since she was injured. We supported her in multiple different ways within our healing network. And you know, this is luckily my second year skiing with Sally, and I, there's no one I'd rather ski with. I'm excited. It's a beautiful day, and a lot of my friends are here, so I'm very excited to ski with them. so amazing to be out here at Copper Mountain in my home mountain supporting high fives, shredding with Sally. It's unreal. She's come so far. What a great day. I had a bad accident, but I'm glad to be back out here and doing what I used to do. I'm very honored that the High Five Foundation wants to share my story and motivate other people to wear helmets when they ski. I'm Sally Franklin, and helmets are cool. Hey, my name is JT Holmes. I'm a professional athlete and one of the founders of the Basics Program. Head over to highfivesfoundation.org to check out more inspiring content and remember, helmets are cool, have fun out there.